Hey YouTube, it's me, 249, and I'm starting a new series called Orange Gamer, where I play obscure and fun games across pretty much all platforms. The first game on my list, Locus, a virtual reality sports game developed by Zombie LLC, released in 1995. That's right, Locus. Never heard of it? I don't blame you. I found this game years ago, at a dollar store of all places, and have loved it ever since. It's an odd game, to be sure, but there's an undeniable appeal here that always draws me in. The basic story is, it's the future, and Locus, the game's namesake, is the latest sports craze that's taking the world by storm. Mega corporations and governments are throwing money at the sport for sway and dominance, but ultimately, it's you, the player, that will decide which team comes out on top. Now, that sounds pretty cliche for a game set in the future, but what the hell, sports games aren't supposed to have stories anywho. What makes Locus a fun game to play is the fairly simple mechanics. Zoom around in your hovercrafts, grab a red ball with your magnetized tongs, and dunk it into your opponent team's gate. Do this three times to any one team, and they're eliminated. Now, you also have lasers that let you stun your enemies to force a fumble, but that will cost you some of your precious energy. Which brings me to the next important point. Your energy is your life source in this game. You're constantly burning it as you hover around, and if you're low, you'll slow to a crawl and your magnet basically becomes useless. In order to avoid that predicament, you should always keep an eye out for these hazy pink spotlights that randomly shine down in certain areas of each course. The timing on this is tricky though, and can in some instances mean the difference between victory and defeat. You might not pick up on this your first few rounds, but Locus is actually a surprisingly nuanced game. As you beat each three round circuit, you advance to a new team. Each team has a unique hovercraft that looks and plays differently. Some teams have fast ships with low energy, while others have slow ships with plenty of juice to spare. Swapping between teams forces you to acclimate and think on your feet. Will you play a defensive game or an offensive one? This depth keeps the game engaging despite its simplistic mechanics. This game has one serious flaw that nearly ruins the whole thing for me. I'm talking about the collision detection. Oftentimes, when you're trying to steal a ball from your opponent, you get stuck ramming repeatedly into them instead. When four ships get involved, this can turn into a real cluster shrek that all but halts the flow of gameplay. And this doesn't even just happen amongst you and your opponents. Sometimes two teammates can get hooked onto each other's geometry and can be awkwardly stuck together for what seems like forever. Honestly though, this is a minor flaw in an otherwise awesome game. If you're looking for a fun game to try out, you could definitely do worse than Locus. Want to try it? It's available as a free, legal download on myabandonware.com. Or, if you're into hard copies, you can find this game on PC CD-ROM for like $1 plus shipping on eBay. Thanks for watching Orange Gamer. See you next time.